In the description below I have a link to the slideshow that shows you how to make a 3D printed face shield. You can choose to either print the visor in one piece or in two separate pieces if you have a smaller 3D print bed. If you do print it in two separate pieces, what I like to do is use a 3D pen to kind of put the two pieces together. If uh, you don't have a 3D pen, you can use zip ties and zip tie it together. I also like to add a separate uh, pin in between and 3D print uh, with the pin in it just for added strength. Now it's time to take the weather stripping and put it on the inside of the visor for comfort. You can cut it at about eight and a half inches and place it inside the visor making sure it sticks to the inside. I prefer using the D profile Frost King weather stripping uh, but you can also use the gray foam stripping as well. Now we'll put the elastic band on the visor. So I like to cut it at about 14 inches and I put it through one slot and then knot it, then put the other end through the other slot and then make a knot on the top of that as well. That seems to fit fairly well. The slideshow in the description shows you where to mark your holes for your pins or your clips on the transparencies. I made a template of those and I just put my new transparency on top and then I proceed to punch the holes. I like to print my clips with flexible filament just because it has a little bit more give and I also turn my visor so that the tabs are sticking up so when I put my pins in the transparency is a transparency is a little bit shorter than if I were to have my tabs pointing down the healthcare facility that I worked with uh, to begin with wanted the um, shields a little bit shorter 